Who's that? Who is it? 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 It's showtime. Try this again. YouTube, what up? This is your boy Showtime. This is the third time I've tried to record this video. Can't get the damn audio to work, so hopefully, this time, we in business. This is my first moto vlog. Just wanted to introduce myself to you. I am here in Dallas, Texas. It has been fucking raining for the past three weeks, I know. It's been crazy. I've been dying to get out here. The few times that the weather has let up for me to come, I recorded. And you couldn't hear shit. So again, I hope this thing is working this time. If not, I just got another day of practice. I ride a 2007 Yamaha R1. Her name is Stacy. What the fuck are they doing? Her name is Stacy, and if you ask me, I think she's a bad bitch. I'll show it to you here in a second. Now, allow me to introduce to you Stacy. Oh, look at her. Damn, girl. It got a little muddy because we was out today, but y'all saw all the rain, so excuse that. You know, we'll knock that off over here shortly. And if you'll notice, I only have one mirror. That's because it was raining and I was trying to do some modifications, so I put on the um, mirror block off plate and I haven't installed the bar in, so I left the right mirror on so that I can at least see a little bit behind me until I install the uh, bar ends and then I'll put the other one on but man she's fucking sick I love her we'll rev one time for the one time there we go oh I love her I've only been riding for, let's see, about five months. I took my MSF course almost two years ago, like right before I came here. I did not want to finance a motorcycle, so I saved up my money. And when I had an opportunity, I bought my bike for cash for my brother. He wanted a 09 R1, so I bought the 07 off of him, and now he has the 09. I know it's a lot of y'all out there that think I'm crazy as shit for starting out on a leader bike. But to me, it really didn't matter what bike I started on, because I was going to be scared as hell anyway. Well, let me not say scared, but uh, you got to respect the machine. Know what you got between your legs. <laughs> yeah. 
know what you're sitting on, know what you're riding, and you gotta respect it. Know what it's capable of, and don't be a damn idiot trying to get out there and do shit you know you don't have the capabilities for at that time. I will agree with some of them though, uh, that say you probably should start on a 250 or 600 at most. Because what I'm finding is that the leader bike is less forgiving than what a 600 would be. So, in my opinion, it's taking a little bit longer to get my skills up than it would have if I was riding definitely a 250. Or I slipped a gear. A 600. That's fucking embarrassing on my first vlog. Fucking terrible in Dallas, man. <laughs> As I said earlier, it's been raining for like three weeks. And I want to show y'all camping and trail to show y'all how much fucking rain has come. This shit stank too. Oh. All right, so this is a parking lot. The footage I got yesterday, this water was a lot higher. You couldn't even see the parking lot. Like where that guy is over there on the bike, it was water. This is the trail. Exactly. I don't know what he said. Look like some more folks out here fishing today. We may get some relief soon because 
in one day that water really has gone down Hey, how's it going, man? So yeah, the guy yesterday, he was telling me that uh, Lake Carolyn, which is over to our right, um, they opened it up so that the uh, water could flow over here. And actually, I think you can see it still coming over here. I don't want to get in this mud. Yeah, so this is the overflow from Lake Carolyn that they're bringing over here. And I'll show you too. He was sitting there lying about the damn fish he caught. I caught a fish and I swear it was that big. Yeah, whatever, nigga. But he was real cool. to myself and what's to come so check me out later yeah man i'm out <laughs>